Getting set for the restart here in the Diamond Hill Plywood 200. Darlington Raceway after a caution in turn one on lap one. The 88 cars been on an off-pit road to check those tires. And a chain reaction behind the leaders. A couple of guys pulled down to avoid contact. Stephen Wallace made a nice move. So did Michael McDowell. Nearly hit another one there, guys. Yeah, they'll stack up right there on that restart. You saw uh, one guy just didn't get going good, and it just stacks up behind them. Luckily, no contact, but uh, now they're single file. And that's what we're going to see a lot here in these restarts, guys. I mean, these, they really stack up here. They really anticipate what's going to happen. All those guys did a good job not causing another wreck. How concerned are you, Rusty, as a driver, knowing the track's got to be quite a bit different with all the rain we've had than when you were on the track earlier this morning in the final practice? Jerry, I'm really concerned about it right now, but the biggest thing I want to do is get some laps under my belt. As you can see this pass, you see it's a 16 car at the bottom right now, getting underneath of them. Yeah, that's Matt Kenseth. Gang They're ganging up on Joey Logano just a little bit right here. Joey doing the smart thing is just let these guys go and then start racing the racetrack. Here comes Jeff Burton. They just got to get a little heat in the tires right now, Jerry. They just need some more laps before they know what this car is going to do. And getting aggressive right off the bat's not the thing to do. Couple of Toyota teammates there, the 32 of Vickers, former winner here, and Leffler, who was very good in the final practice as well. Those guys battling back for eighth position. AC Leffler did not want to give up those spots because he has a great car. Oh, got trouble. Bliss is around. Mike Bliss, who was the fastest car in the morning section, loops it around and has a little bit of sheet metal damage on both sides of the rear. All right, get back get caught up. Come on, get caught up. Guys, you're going to need four tires. You sputter pretty hard. He's going to need a little bit of body work, too, boys. Man, that's too bad. Mike Bliss was uh, really fast, like you said, Doc, in practice, and I talked to him down there. He was very confident, man. They have really been on it this uh, last few races, and their cars have been fast. So he's probably just pushing it a little bit too hard right here underneath Michael McDowell. So he gets loose. Brian Scott gets just in the back of Mike, but he already was loose before that happened. Oh, man, a look at Steven right behind him there. Whoa, to the left. Oh, great piece of driving right there. <laughs> I mean, that could have been big. Come on, don't scare Dad like that. Right along with Mike Bliss now and watches. He's trying to get under the 47 for 12 spot. This is just tough right early in the race here. He uh, trying to force he it. He just it. And that's really hard. You got to race that racetrack early on. You really do. And like I said earlier, Andy, not enough heat in the tires. They haven't had enough laps to figure out what they're going to do. And when you get that tight, you see the squeeze down. Man, he just lost it, got stacked up, and... That's what happened. The second touch by the 10 car here, just watch him come through and touch him. That spun the one all around and sort of helped clear the 66 of Stephen Wallace. Oh, here's Brian Scott now with the door peeled back. They're going to have to do some work here. And that's where he spun the one good. car with that second contact. Yeah. Like can open <laughs> Got to hold that up. thing and rip it right apart. Let's take a look at Bliss's car right here, guys. It looks like he definitely got some damage. I just don't know if it's going yeah, to slow the gonna car be down. Okay. Uh, he's obviously got to get some tires here, and he's got a little bumper damage, but I think he's going to be okay. Jamie? Well, you guys can see hanging off the right rear quarter panel, you see the bar sticking out. He told his team, get the saw, cut that off, get the Barabon ready, guys. They need four tiles, tires. They're going to go ahead and take fuel. Not the way Mike Bliss wanted to start this night off, guys. Two weeks in a row, Mike Bliss has had a great race car and been uh, the victim of misfortune. Last week at Richmond, he led twice for 62 laps, only to have uh, have a problem with the rear end and a suspension failure late in the race. He would have had, easily had a top five finish, and now early on has some damage. But, Andy, uh, that looks pretty good for a car at Darlington. I'll tell you, they're real lucky they didn't get any more than this, and this is not going to hurt the performance of the car at all. They're just going to have to start over here from the back of the pack and uh, – Try to just be a little more patient. Andy, they had a little time to fix this car right now. I've been watching the pace car out there, and they're in pretty good shape. I mean, I would think right now the key thing they need to do is take all the time they can and fix this car really good. Yeah, because you get one good shot here, you're going to have to give up all the track position anyway, so right now is the time to do it. You don't want to do it later after you've made up 15 or 20 spots and try to, you know, give those back. So it's a good spot, good time to do that. Here's the 10 car. He was too fast exiting pit road. Brian Scott making his first trip to Darlington. Only his fourth ever start in the series. He'll have to come back with a pass-through penalty, and that will probably cost him a lap here as we are getting set to go back to green flag racing. Kyle Busch, Carl Edwards, Ryan Newman, Eric Darnell, and Matt Kins at the top five. Good clean start. Yeah, I guarantee these guys right now are thinking, let's just get this thing sorted out, guys. Let's quit spinning and crashing. How about these two teammates still racing each other hard with Eric Darnell and Matt Kenseth? 
Darnell in the sixth car. Remember, he's splitting that car with David Reagan. Here comes the 20 of Logano now back on the inside of Kenseth, and Jeff Burton and Kenseth come oh, together. Oh, two veteran drivers Jeff getting Burton. together right here. It's the same thing that happened to Mike Bliss, just pressed the issue and got loose. These two guys know better. Yeah, they've got six wins combined between them here. Michael McDowell picking up where he left off at Richmond. Another great run. Oh, no, another, another contact here. That's Vickers and Stephen Wallace bouncing off each other. Come on, guys, settle down. Looks like Stephen's car has got some damage now, here we go. on our oh, right got, front here. Got Lagsy almost looking three wide. He's already torn up one today in practice. More on the 29 car of Burton Mike. And Rusty, you may have touched on something talking about the tires getting warm enough here. Well, Jeff Burton is trying to manipulate that. He's turned off all his fans in the race car, just trying to get some heat in the tires. Right now, though, he says he's just sliding around. Yeah, I'll tell you, you're exactly right, Mike. They just got to get some heat. But what they need to do, really, is just settle down a little bit. That's one of the biggest problems we're having now. We just joined our coverage. We mentioned there were 14 cars in the last practice session that spun or had contact with the wall. How about these two rookies running for seventh spot right here? Both of these guys have done a great job so far. I don't want to jinx them. You know, this is a long race, but they've done a good job so far this week. I'll tell you, you saw Joey Logano making a big pass on the inside down the back straightaway. Then you saw that restart of Justin Allgaier on the outside. Shannon, what's going on down there? Well, guys, right now, Joey Logano not happy with the car. He says it's tight. He says it's pushing like a dump truck in three and four. Not as bad in one and two. Now, this 20 team, they turned 98 laps in both practice sessions today. They've been on the track all day. Dave Rogers said he had to do it. After all, this guy's a rookie. And Shannon behind him, Justin Allgaier in the 12 car, started back in 16th position and his 13 laps at probably one of the most difficult tracks to pass. He is battling for eight spots. Now he's really, I tell you guys, he really did a good job getting through the gearbox and a restart and taking advantage of some of those slow starts. Justin did a good job on that high lane, but now he settled in, slow down, stay away from that wall, use some patience. Dave? And part of running well here is all about a good attitude, and Justin Allgaier certainly has that. Watching some videotape of his practice earlier today, he commented, no, I was so scared about this place because of what everyone else said. And after I got up and ran it, I said, man, this is the coolest place I've ever raced. <laughs> The 05 car just a moment ago, Casey Atwood had headed to the garage area. And the 88 car, by the way, that spun in the uh, lap one had gone back to 42nd after making that pit stop. Brad Keselowski has moved all the way up to 25th position. 14 laps in the books here at Darlington, South Carolina. Kyle Busch, a three-time winner, coming off the sweep at Richmond, is our leader. It is Busch, Edwards, Newman, Darnell, and Kenza.